Traditional software follows the rhythm we all understand. Input, process, output. Predictable, reliable, like clockwork. But imagine if these gears could think for themselves, if they could decide when to turn, how fast to spin, and in which direction to go. Hi, uh, thank you for having me. You want me to go? Traditional code is like a script for actors. Each line tells the program exactly what to do and when to do it and how to do it. Believe me when I tell you that this is over. That, that was good? Oh, yeah, okay. I heard that there were some... Oh. An AI agent is like an improvising actor. You give it a character description and an objective, but it decides how to get there. The difference isn't just flexibility. It is understanding purpose over procedure. I thought I understood. Just, I'm so sorry. Please, please let this not be over. I beg you. Okay, was that, does that work? Yeah, that was, that was amazing. Thank you. Okay. At the heart of every agent, there is a decision loop that might feel familiar. This isn't new to you. You use this cycle every time you navigate traffic, cook dinner, or solve a problem at work. What has changed is that we have encoded this loop into systems that can continuously evaluate and respond. When we program, we usually dictate exactly when each tool gets used. An agent selects its own tools based on the situation at hand. Perhaps the most powerful aspect of agents is their ability to reason about paths forward. It doesn't just execute a procedure, it evaluates possibilities and selects the most promising. This isn't just running a function, it is reasoning about which function to run, when to run them, and how to interpret their results. So what exactly are agentic workbooks? It is a sequence of operations in which the AI drives the process forward. Instead of working with if this then that, we create loops in which the agents are actively observing, learning, deciding, and acting over and over until it accomplishes the goal. But don't confuse it with agents. Remember, agents are a single intelligent function that can perceive inputs in the side action. Agentic workflows, on the other hand, are orchestrated systems where the agent determines which functions to call next, in what order, and with what parameters. The AI is actively participating in this process, making decisions and adapting. It is autonomous and takes actions based on context and feedback. These workflows are already out there in the wild. For example, GitHub Copilot is a tool for code completion. You start coding, Copilot autocompletes based on patterns, you accept, reject, or modify according to the suggestions, and Copilot learns from the context. The agent here is OpenAI Codex, and the agentic workflow is the collaboration between you and the Copilot. However, how do you determine if something is agentic? It needs to perceive context, meaning understanding the code structure, iterate and improve, meaning take the user feedback into account. Decide the best action, so generate code, Act autonomously, meaning modified code, not just suggested. Though, how does it take action for each of the steps? Well, in order to perceive, the AI takes the user input and it looks at everything around it. So it looks at the files, the code snippet, and the function. Then it remembers the interactions you had within the session in order to give you good suggestions and to keep consistency. Then it takes the code and it actually compares it to similarities within the pre-trained knowledge it has in order to go down the most probable path. From there, it does reasoning, so AI might follow like heuristic steps, like is a loop inside a loop, and then it suggests some optimization. All the while, it does reinforcement learning. At the end, it actually gives you a lot of good options, but it chooses the one based on accuracy, efficiency, and, you know, paths engagements with you. When it comes to changing the code, it actually looks at what you've written or what you've given it. So that way it looks at like the cons, what are the function names, and like what is the syntax itself. It compares it to the best practices it has, as well as the coding style that you've given it within the instructions. From there, it actually looks for, you know, testing of feasibility, so that way it doesn't break any dependencies. But at the end of all, you know, it actually comes down to the agent whether it wants to change that specific section or if it wants to change the whole thing. The shift happening now isn't just technical, it is a new relationship with code. The feature isn't replacing code with AI, it is understanding where precision matters and where adaptability creates value. It is all a spectrum, and you get to decide where each part of your system belongs in that spectrum. All in all, the most powerful systems won't be done by somebody who abandons what they know, 
but by somebody that is willing to bridge what was with what is becoming. 